Now we're joined by Ariel Lasseter. If you have a question on the call, please raise your hand. We'll get started with, uh, with uh, Lauren and then Jose. Thank you, Rafa. Hi, Ari. Congratulations on your first goal as an Inter Miami player. Can you talk to me about the combination with Iguain that led to your goal and your guys' chemistry on the field? Yeah, I mean, um, I think that has to do a lot with the ability to use my pace and try to get him behind. Uh, I think with my pace, it opens up space for him to drop back and get on the ball. And, and likewise, you know, people are, teams are afraid of him getting on the ball and turning and, and driving at them that it leaves space in behind. So it's just kind of finding that balance between um, when to go short and, and, and when to look to play into the spaces. But um, we've been connect, combining very well. So hopefully that's something that can continue. Next question, Jose, then Franco, then Michelle. Ariel, eh, quisiera preguntarte un poquito sobre tus funciones en esta formación, porque es, da la impresión que es un 5-3-2, pero en el que Higuaín rota mucho hacia atrás. Eh, ¿Cómo te has sentido? Porque normalmente te hemos visto como un extremo, pero aquí tienes otras responsabilidades. Muchas gracias. Sí, bueno, como, como estaba hablando, yo tengo que tomar en cuenta que muchos de los equipos van a estar buscando a Gonzalo eh, que le van a tener, bueno, no quiero decir mío, pero cuando él, eh, cuando le damos la pelota, cosas pasan, ¿verdad? Entonces, equipos quieren parar eso y como dice usted, yo he jugado mucho por fuera eh, como extremo, pero ahora tengo que tener más paciencia como un jugador que está jugando delantero eh, para cuando los mediocampistas o Gonzalo reciba la bola, ahí explotar mi, mi velocidad para correr en los espacios y abrir más espacios para mí y mis compañeros. Next question, Franco, then Michelle. Thanks, Rafa. Hey, Ariel, sorry to make you switch back and forth between uh, English and Spanish, and, and congrats on the goal. Uh, obviously, results in preseason don't, don't matter in the grand scheme of things. We won't remember this, or most people won't remember this in come October, November. But from a competitor's standpoint, is it frustrating that the last two games you guys have had the lead and then given it up late and then obviously today you guys get the draw but last week obviously the loss is it frustrating at all or does it not matter because it's preseason no it definitely matters you know especially me as an individual I always want to win um you know I want to win this this little tournament here but um we also have to realize that we make a lot of changes throughout the games and um sometimes that can be difficult you know especially throughout the flow of a match um but you know we're building towards that that first game against chicago um i think from where we started in the preseason to where we are now um, we're definitely looking uh, more as a unit you know more cohesive uh and, and we're on the right path um I, i don't think anyone in the locker room wants to lose um i don't think anyone um is is happy about the result and even in today's match i felt like we could have definitely came away with with the victory but Um, you know, we have to look towards Tuesday now and assess uh, the match from today and can continue to move forward. Next question, Michelle. Hi, Ariel. Congrats on the goal also. Um, can you just talk about, there's so many new players on this team. A lot of people like, you know, DeAndre just got there. A lot of you are new. How important is this week away as a group, you know, as far as off the field chemistry which will then obviously translate on the field, I think. But, um, you know, can you just describe a little what it's been like just, you know, traveling together as a group and how you think that'll help the team? Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, I think these trips are extremely important, like you say, off the field. Um, I know there's been a lot of changes in the club uh, as far as players and staff. And now being able to, you know, be around each other 24-7, I think it will definitely help a lot. Um, since I've been here, the group has been very positive. Uh, everybody's very welcoming to myself and to others as well. I haven't seen anything very negative at all. Um, and, and I think that will translate onto the pitch. Uh, but just like anything, it, it will take a little bit of time. Last two questions, Lauren, then Franco. Thanks, Rafa. Getting closer to the home opener, how excited are you and this team to play in that home opener in front of the fans who you kind of got to meet the other day at open training? Yeah, I mean, uh, I could, I was talking to one of my best friends about this, you know, I love you know, preseason, but I am, I'm really excited for, to get the season started. Um, there's nothing like, you know, season play and especially 
me having an opportunity here at, at such a great club like Inter Miami, you know, eyes are going to be on, on the club. Um, and, and the club wants to do big things, and, and as do I. So uh, looking forward to, to the game against Chicago. You know, super excited. Um, but we have to be ready, and, and I definitely think we will be. Last question, Franco. Thanks again, Rafa. Uh, Ariel, you, when preseason started, you guys and, and the coaching staff talked about being a possession-based team. And in the preseason games, we've seen it. It seems like the other teams have had more possession um, for longer stretches. Today, obviously, in the first half, you guys defended very well, very organized, tactically disciplined, but not a whole lot of possession. Uh, it, you guys still want to be a possession team? Is that still something the coaching staff is, is stressing and it's going to take time, like you said, because of um, all the new pieces in place? Or is more of the focus now being a little bit more just uh, solid at the back and then trying to look to hit on the counter with speed like like you possess, like came on the goal today? Yeah, no, I, I definitely think we want to be uh, a possession-based team, you know, sometimes in, in playing against a, a club like Colorado that has always been very possession-oriented, it, it may be a little difficult to do that. Um, we definitely still want to stick to that. Uh, but then at the same time, we have to take what, what the other team gives us, you know. I think in the second half, as, as from what I saw, from what I felt, they left a lot of spaces in behind. Um, and so we just have to take advantage of that. Um, but but I definitely think moving forward, we still want to stay uh, a possession-based team. Thank you, Adi, and thank you, everyone, on the call. Thank you, guys.